Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises and the glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai. Rakuth Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Rekar Kodash. I want to give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers and all sincerity. Pushing this true gospel throughout the four corners of the earth risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel and as always shalom to the hopeful elect all the praises are given to our heavenly father Yahweh our Sham Yahushai our man so be true another day another night in Babylon this place sickens us yeah we really need to get out of this shit and hell hole you know you know what I mean it's like how long dear Lord how long and I was what I was meditating on that you know all the way in the shithole we just have to thank the Lord for his tender mercies thank his thank our Heavenly Father you know because you see when the Lord calls us into this truth all right our next stage is to to be chosen you know so and I tell you what I was meditating on this you know one thing about our Heavenly Father is that the Lord hates embarrassment you know for a matter of fact none of us like to be embarrassed much less our Heavenly Father all right so when he calls us into this truth the worst thing to do to our Heavenly Father is to embarrass him all right so I was meditating on this earlier on to the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai I'm going to get this in the scriptures, Lord willing. <clears throat> Let's go to the book of Matthew. Matthew 13, 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure, hid in a field, the which when a man have found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he have, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great Price went and sold all that he had and bought it. So what is that saying, man? It's a treasure. When our Heavenly Father calls us into this truth, all right, we must treat this as respect, as a gift from the Lord. Because our Heavenly Father hates embarrassment. All right? Out of millions and millions of people, he called you into this truth. Millions. All right? And Lord, really, that's why we say we remain to the end. We do our Heavenly Father's will to the end. Because it's a precious, it's a pearl, it's a treasure when our Heavenly he just looks at you and says, I'm going to call you. I want to see investment. That's what he wants to see, investment. Right? Imagine he turns around and says to you, well done, my humble son. Well done, my humble child. Well done, my humble servant. Yeah, that's the one. Well done, my humble servant. I'm well pleased of you. All right? This is precious, man. This is a precious gift from the Lord. The Lord hates embarrassment. Let's go to Hebrews 6. Start from 1. Therefore, leaving the principles 
of the doctrine of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward our Lord, our power. Verse 2, of the doctrine of baptism and of laying on of hands and of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment and this will we do if the Lord our power permit for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened you hear this and have tasted of the heavenly gift you see where I'm going now Hebrews 6 verse 4 for it is impossible for those who were once in enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit do you know how precious that is the Lord called you right He laid his eyes on you and called you and said, work for me, work for me. All right? And what the Lord does, he puts all these gems in front of you sometimes, yeah? He puts all this, the, the treasures, you know? He makes you see things, right? He makes you feel the Holy Spirit. And you feel the treasure, you feel the gift. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of Yahweh Basham Yahshai and the powers of the world to come. <laughs> Are you really thinking about it, yeah? It's a blessing enough for the Lord to, to touch you in the spirit and say, taste this and see. Taste it and see. Taste it of the Holy Spirit. All of it is so beautiful for us to fathom. The Lord knows how he's doing it. He gives you a little snippet at times, a little taste of the Holy Spirit. Right? He gives you a taste of it. And the Lord hates embarrassment. The Lord hates embarrassment. That's why we say, Lord will. Lord will, you know. That we keep our eyes single. We keep our eyes focused on the Lord as much as we can. Because the, the, the worst thing to do is turn our backs on the Lord. Turn our backs. All right? You know, the scriptures talk about take your hand of the plow. Yes? It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. Fearful. And have tasted the good word of the Lord our power and the powers of the world to come. Right? Sometimes when it's the Holy Spirit touches you, it just hits you for like one second or half a second. Right? That's the Lord. He puts a spirit in you, right? He's giving you a taste of what is to come. And that's why the Lord gets offended. He gets offended. Imagine choosing you out of millions and millions of people. He calls you. And all he asks is for you just to, just to abide in him, trust in him. That's all he asks, to follow him, you know, to please him. That's all he asks. If they shall fall away to renew them again, 
unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of, of our living power afresh and put him to an open shame. I said before, the Lord hates embarrassment. He's like a, he's like a father, right? Has his child. And he does all he can to, to help that child to do the right thing, you know. He trains him up the right way. Then as, as soon as he becomes older, he started to become wayward, right? He becomes, it's, it becomes embarrassing to the father, you know. What did I do? What did I do? And the father becomes embarrassed. He becomes embarrassed. The Lord hates embarrassment. Yeah? But that's a little example. But it's way, way, way more deeper than that. Way more deeper than that. Yeah? Matthew 10, verse 33. But whosoever shall deny me before men. That's an embarrassment for the Lord. If you deny the Heavenly Father before men, all right? Imagine the Lord give you a gift, right? And then you're, you, you know, you're doing a little bit of the gift, you know, you're showing a little bit, and then you turn away. Because when people see you with that gift, and then you turn away, they're not going to say, oh, wait, how come? why is this man, you know, what an embarrassment. He was serving the Lord wholeheartedly. And he did the opposite thing. Right? What an embarrassment that is. Because when the Lord calls you, you're supposed to be an ambassador. You're supposed to be an ambassador. All right? But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. I have to read that, that again. Matthew, Matthew chapter 10 verse 33. But whosoever shall deny me. If you deny Yahweh Shai, listen to this. Before men I also, Yahushai, will deny before my Father. I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. First Chronicles 29 verse 10. Wherefore, David, blessed the Lord before all the congregation. You see that? Blessed the Lord before all the congregation. All of the congregation. Yeah? Not some, but all. And David said, Blessed be thou, Lord our power of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Thine, O Lord, our power is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in heaven and in on the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, our power, and thou art exalted as above all. No, let me say that. Let me start again. Alright, this is why we need new bodies, man.
First Chronicles 29 verse 10. Wherefore David, blessed the Lord our power, before all the congregation, And David said, Blessed be thou, Lord, our power of Israel, our Father, for ever and ever. Thine, O Lord, our power, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord our power, and thou art exalted as head above all. Imagine, this power is going to choose you. To do his work. He's going to make you feel the Holy Spirit. He's going to put gems. Yeah? It's just like that man in the field when he finds all these pearls. Right? He do anything. He sells everything. He drops everything. Right? Because what he found there was so precious. It was so wonderful. There's no way he wants to lose that. He gave up everything. So like I said, we have to, it's like a, our living sacrifice. We give all to our Heavenly Father. He deserves everything. Thine, O Lord, our power is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, our power. And thou art exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come of thee. Everything comes from the Lord, man. Everything. Both riches and honor come of thee. And thou reignest over all. And in thine hand is power and might and in thine hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all 13 therefore now therefore our power we thank thee and praise thy glorious name we thank our heavenly father yeah we thank our Heavenly Father and praise His glorious name. His name is Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Yahweh Basham Yahushai. We have to forever do that. Continue to praise the Lord. Yeah? Okay, brother? Sorry? You okay? Yeah, good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now, therefore, our, our power, we mm -hmm. thank Thee and praise thy glorious name. So when you have people there messing around with the name, messing around, you know, when you're given these gifts, when you're gonna turn it around for filthy lucre, all right, you're gonna call on different names, you're not sticking to the name of the Lord, yeah? You're once calling on the name of the Lord and he's denied the name of the Lord. You're embarrassing our Heavenly Father. Our Heavenly Father is embarrassed. He hates embarrassment. Yeah? Let me get that scripture one more time. And this is why, yeah? For Hebrews 6, verse 1. 
for it is impossible for those whom were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted tasted through the Holy Spirit through the word for it is impossible for those who were in once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of our power Heavenly Father and the powers and the powers of the world to come if you taste that and you reject that you know as the Lord said he has mercy the Lord may could do that but <laughs> according to scripture says it's impossible for you to do that and embarrass the Lord do not embarrass him yeah do not embarrass our heavenly father and his beloved son he hates that so I was just meditating that on the spirit through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai meditating on that and I said you know what this applies to me also he's like you could never do enough you never do enough in these fucking wretched bodies that we, we are in I could never fucking do enough I never I never feel satisfied okay never feel satisfied and I suppose all you brothers never feel satisfied Never. Oh. Right? There is nothing in this world that could fulfill me. Nothing. I don't care. Right? All I want is more and more of that taste of the heavenly, the Holy Spirit. That's all I need. And never, ever, ever to come off. Right? The Psalms 51, that, that prayer, man, Lord willing, man, because sometimes, man, you feel that the Holy Spirit is coming off you, man, and, man, you beg the, you beg the Lord, you know, you beg him, you beg him, Baba Kasha, please, please, you right? And the Lord has mercy on you. The Lord has mercy. Our Heavenly Father has mercy upon you. And you start to feel a little bit better again in the spirit, you know? But he's giving you a taste to know. You see, the Lord don't play around, man. He gives you that Holy Spirit. He makes you feel it. He makes you taste it. All right? And he draws it back away from you, right? The Lord knows what he's doing to make you feel, right? This is why we never feel peaceful in this kingdom. Never. It's always that, that that spirit is willing all the time, but the flesh, the flesh, yeah, is the flesh. There's nothing that can fulfill you except the, the brotherhood, you know, Loving your brothers, loving your sisters, yeah? Nothing can fulfill you more than that and having the Holy Spirit, the Lord, working within you. Nothing can beat that, yeah? Nothing. That's right, when we, hold, when we, get, when we find that pearl, man, you hold on to it, man. You let go of everything. This is why when you come to serve the Lord, you know, be prepared. Be prepared to lose everything. Prepare to lose it, right? You see, if you're wanting health, if you, had, if you had good health and you lose that health, listen, prepare to lose more, man. Prepare to lose more. Oh, anyway. Oh. Please, Lord, have mercy on us and, you know, 
deliver us, but we have to go through the pain, man. It's this patience, it's the patience, it's the patience. I hope and pray that we're all sincere in the eyes of our Heavenly Father. I pray that we're all sincere. I pray that we're all sincere, brothers and sisters, in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. Right? Right now, I just feel the Lord is just watching me right now. Right now, the Lord is watching everything I do, everything I say. <laughs> oh, anyway, all the praises, like I said, we give all the praise to Yahweh Basham, Yahushai Basham, Mikaku Dash. All right? For giving you a taste because there's millions and trillions of people out there. Yeah? They don't, they just don't care. Right? They never one day, you know. <laughs> They don't even think about the Lord every day. Every day we must think about the Lord non-stop. Yeah? I pray that the Lord has mercy in us, man. All it is, I pray the Lord has mercy. Yeah? Anyway, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone and to all you brothers, sincere brothers, you know, pushing this truth. In all sincerity, yeah. And it's all about the strength, you know. Whoever's going to remain to the end, that's a gift from the Lord, yeah. That's a gift, yeah. So I hope we all can make it through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahshai Basham Kafrash. Okay, Shalom, brother, beloved brothers and sisters. Right, just remember to meditate on the gift. I know we feel messed up at times, you know messed up and low in the spirit but what keeps us going is that the holy spirit you know gives you a little nudge a little nudge sometimes just to remind you of what the lord has given to you you know no matter how small or great it is all right the lord has got you you know lord willing heavenly father our heavenly father has got us you all right to remain to the end Kwam Yasharala, Kwam Yasharala, Yao Basham Yashai Basham Mikakwadash, Kwam Yasharala.